mole fraction can be represented um, by a symbol that looks similar to a capital X and the equation for a mole fraction is moles of a particular substance over the total moles in the solution. In this problem we're asked to calculate the mole fraction of each component in a one liter solution which contains 3.45 grams of sodium chloride, 5.11 grams of sucrose, and 100 milliliters of water. Assume the density of water is one gram per milliliter. First calculate the moles of each component, sodium chloride, sucrose, and water. Then calculate the mole fraction of each component by dividing the moles of that component by the total moles in the solution. In this problem we're going to use the mole fraction to solve a problem. In this case we're going to determine the percent by mass of a component in a solution. The final calculation is going to be a part over a whole times 100 percent. In this case the part is how much calcium chloride is in the total solution which includes calcium chloride and water. So the final calculation will be mass over calcium chloride over the total mass of the solution. We can use the mole fraction of calcium chloride to calculate the grams of calcium chloride in the solution. Next we need to determine the grams of water and that calculation would be very similar to the calculation that we just carried out for calcium chloride. In order to determine the mole fraction of water, subtract the mole fraction of calcium chloride from one. This is because the sum of the mole fractions in any solution is one. Next calculate the grams of water and finally calculate the part over whole calculation that was mentioned in the beginning. Here is another problem where we're asked to calculate the mole fraction of a component of a solution. After reading this problem, it may appear that we're not given enough information to proceed. If you come across problems where you believe you're not given enough information to proceed, consider making an, an assumption particularly about the quantity of sample given. But because we have percents and density, we can consider any quantity of solution. One milliliter, a hundred milliliters, a liter, it doesn't matter. But to make the calculations easy, assume we have one milliliter of this solution. When that assumption is made, we'll have 0.95 grams of solution. And from this quantity of solution, we could proceed to calculate the actual mass of ammonia. And the mass of ammonia can be calculated by using the 12% and the mass of solution. So the mass of ammonia is 0.114 grams. The remainder of the mass is that of water. So 0.95 grams total of solution, subtract 0.114 grams of ammonia, gives 0.836 grams of water. And at this point we could calculate the moles of each and finally the mole fraction of ammonia.